out. You'll know this fella quite well. You'll know him quite well because he does host the majority of these shows, right? He's a classic MC. I've had him on my show. He's had me on his show. Good friend of mine. Great laugh, great guy. You're going to love him. You know him. You'll love him. He's great. He's everything. Give it up for the wonderful Ken Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you should know me by now because I'm the one who holds this operation together. Yes, you might be wondering, why is my room red? Well, it's house fire. Come on. Something's got to burn here. And I'm not talking about um, <clears throat> dead relatives. I do apologise for that. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kim Nash. Uh, my name is actually Unisex, which I'm going to be honest, I think is a lie for two reasons. Uh, number one, I could never afford uni. Look at me. Fucking look at me. <laughs> and second of all, I don't get sex. I do this on any other comedy show. I go, I don't get sex. They go, ha, virgin. I go, ha, true. Shame. Shame. Talking about sex, I'm going to give you a bit of advice, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when you're having the sex, who says the sex anymore? Sounds like something my dead granddad would say. Yes, let's do the sex, darling. I don't know. That's a new bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's my bit of advice for you if you're while you're having the sex. I'm going to stop saying the sex because the sex sounds worse than sex. Um, okay, so when you're having the sex, top tip, don't say this to your girlfriend while you're doing her up the arse. Um, your arse looks a pan, like a pan of chocolate because, yeah, just don't say that. Just don't say her arse looks like a pan of chocolate, okay? I made that mistake. It would have been all right if I'd stopped there. I decided to go, your arse looks like a pan of chocolate. Because it's crusty and it's got a filling. Oh, God, just threw up in my mouth. Um, talking about sex, someone said to me, can you ruin sex in four words? I said, I can't, but I'm sure quite a few people can. So um, I'm going to read out a couple of responses to a post I put out months ago, and I've only just got around to putting it into a stand-up set about... Ruining sex in four words, so brace yourself, is one of them. <clears throat> the first one is, the dog is better. Don't know why you're fucking dogs, mate. <laughs> the next one, should it be bleeding? Should it be bleeding? Probably, if you take the virginity. <clears throat> next one, I need a piss. <laughs> I had to laugh at that slightly. <clears throat> next one. Please stop biting it. Spit it in, please. Trust me, this... <laughs> I might have been drunk when I'd done these. Mm. Slower, you're tearing me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the last one is Alabama Hot Pocket, anyone? Anyone who does not know what an Alabama Hot Pocket is, don't ask me. I am not going to explain it because it's a load of shit. If you know what an Alabama hot pocket is, keep it to yourself. You know, keep it to yourself. This lockdown thing's been a bit of a pain in the ass, or as Freddie Mercury would say, a pain in the bollocks. You see, this lockdown thing, one of my ex-girlfriend said to me during lockdown, well, at the end of lockdown, lockdown one, we're currently in lockdown the sequel. She said to me, oh, would you like to meet up and have Netflix and chill? And I'm like, bitch, what do you think I've been doing for the last six months? Netflix and chill is dead. Talking about words I don't want to hear anymore. Um, I'm going to say this. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Keep it to yourself, Michael. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few words I think people need to shut the fuck up about now. Um, ironically, shut the fuck up is our slogan for the podcast, ironically. Um, first of all, the word unprecedented can go fuck itself. I've had enough of our so-called prime minister saying unprecedented. You don't, you don't go into a bar and go, I'd love an unprecedented drink, please. No, you don't do that. You just say, give me a drink so much that I end up under that table. Okay. Another word that can go... I'm going to say this, Donald Trump, Donald Trump's not been taking this um, losing thing very well, is he? 
he's not taking it well. So glad I don't even know if there's any Americans watching. So, well, technically Ryan is partially. <laughs> Anal is boring, apparently. Just, just twist it up a bit. Just twist it up a bit. But, um, yeah, Netflix and chill is dead. I don't think Netflix and chill was ever the go-to thing. If someone said to me, oh, what are you doing at the weekend? And they said, oh, Netflix and chill. And they asked me, I'd go, I'm just going to sit down on the sofa and cry myself to sleep. Because that's all I know what to do. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been a very silent but brilliant audience. Um, I am just keeping, I'm going to keep this going until our MC gets back to his fucking job. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Kim Nash. Make sure you uh, join us for the Christmas show because if you don't want to hear me swear for a couple of hours and you want to hear Connor um, just attempt to do a co-host job, he's doing well so far, so give him credit there. Give him credit there. Um, and of course, some of these acts that are on tonight, you will see again, and I'm sure... Um, okay, <laughs> my red light has just gone. Uh, thank you very much. I've been Kim Nash. Thank you very much. <laughs>